Hi, I'm Anthony Kingston, author of Holistic Microneedling, and today I'm going to talk to you about how derma rollers can be used to assist and interact with hyperpigmentation, and in particular in this case, melasma. Now before I go on, I just want to make sure we all know what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about hyperpigmentation as opposed to hypopigmentation. So hypopigmentation, of course, is the loss of pigmentation in the skin resulting in white patches. In this case, we're talking about hyperpigmentation, which is actually a darkening the skin in certain areas. And it's usually formed by a dysfunction of the melanocytes that produce melanin in the skin and actually control the pigmentation and uh, color of the actual skin surface. So for those of you who need a much more detailed background, please go to the website and have a look for our book, Holistic Microneedling, and that can give you a lot more detail about the science behind it, because today we're going to give you an overview of how the two interact and what they can treat. Now the exact mechanism by which derma rollers assist hyperpigmentation is not actually known. When they've done studies, what they suggest and why they believe it works in many cases is because the derma rollers can actually um, normalize the signaling between the keratinocytes, which are a group of cells on the skin surface, and the melanocytes, which are also on the skin surface in the epidermis level, which basically control the melanin production, and melanin is what gives the skin its color and therefore its pigmentation. So it's basically a regulating process by which they regulate the function of these particular cells which produce the melanin which basically controls the pigmentation in the skin surface and that's how it can actually help and improve many cases of hyperpigmentation. Okay, so as, as discussed, basically these melanocytes that control pigmentation are located very close to the surface of the skin, okay? Very, very shallow. So you don't need very long derma rollers, very long microneedles to reach them. Usually a 0.5 millimeter is more than enough, or you may even consider a 0.75 millimeter, but you don't need some of the longer microneedle rollers that you use when treating, say, thick scar tissue and so forth. Now, what sort of results can you expect with most forms of hyperpigmentation? The honest truth is it varies. Hypopigmentation is easier to treat than hyperpigmentation in most cases. Where the hyperpigmentation is secondary to an autoimmune disease, such as Addison's or Cushing's disease, you tend to expect uh, less effect, you know what I mean? Because in these cases, you're actually, you're only working on the skin surface and you're not treating the underlying autoimmune cause. But in other cases of hyperpigmentation, you can see very good results and we've seen some good results in clinic. Just following on from the discussion about results, uh, one particular condition we get asked about an awful lot is melasma. Now melasma of course is very common in pregnant women um, and we get asked a lot about how, it can, uh, how the derma rollers can treat this condition, can they improve it, can they not. Well melasma is a relatively little understood condition even in all, all circles of science and so forth. So the truth is yes and no. Um, in some cases using a 0.5 millimeter roller in clinic we've seen really good results with melasma. But in other cases the melasma is quite hard to predict. In actual fact things as simple as application of a normal uh, moisturizing cream, massage, or in this case derma rolling, can in fact in some cases make it worse. So you have to be quite careful um, and usually what we recommend is before you go ahead with a full range of treatment, do a little test patch. Just roll across a particular area a couple of times and do do this test over a couple of weeks and months. Don't just do it once and assume it's okay the next day. What you want to make sure is that you're seeing some signs of improvement and you're not in fact seeing the melasma actually worsening in these cases. And if you see some signs of improvement then the chances are you can get very good results and it will be a very effective treatment for you. But always check before you go forward. Well that's it for me today. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the Dermarola techniques or viewing the full transcript of this, um, of this video, please go to our website. You'll see the, um, all the instructions there, full range of products if you're interested in trying these products at home or in your clinical environment. And you can learn a lot just from reading the background articles and blogs that we place on there.